out they go. So Ethan gets the initial hole shot. Looks like Lee Holmes slots up into third place. And that would be Simon Dixon there in second. So they head their way up the hill. Anthony Carroll, Kieran McGowan right there as well. So they'll head their way down into uh, gum trees. Everyone gets through there nicely. So Ethan starting to already stretch the lead once again. As they head their way down into Siberia. Back up the hill through the left hander at seven. So the first three already just starting to uh, get a, a little bit of a break as they go down through that fast section of the circuit. Down through nine and ten. And down into Kangaroo Corner. Rebecca Pierce having her first ride here this weekend on the 56 bike. So down the front straight away. They fire it through. So Ethan Olden, Simon Dixon, Lee Holmes and Anthony Carroll, our first four at the moment. And just leading that next bunch of riders in there, that's uh, Kieran McGowan, Gary Dixon in there as well. And uh, Mike Train just starting to make his way through the field as well. James Irvine in there, not far off the pace. Michael Carlson, he absolutely enjoyed his uh, racing yesterday. Caught up with him yesterday afternoon, he was uh, pretty wrapped. And enjoying himself. Looks like we've got a rider pulled over down at nine. And that quite could, that could be Shane Watson down there, I'd say it would be, on the triple one bike. Rebecca Pierce heads away up under the bridge. Another one of our... Uh, female riders here this weekend great to see the uh, the chicks having a bit of a go in such a male dominated sport but um, we've got a, uh, a few here today which is uh, always good so down the straight once again still Ethan going very well just set a time of a 136.7 as he heads his way underneath the bridge. Boy's starting to uh, provide some pretty good pace underneath the bridge here this morning. They head their way back down through the fast set, uh, the fast left at five and then down into six at Siberia and it looks like Anthony Carroll trying to uh, get a little bit closer there to Lee Holmes Paul Chester goes through on the 85 bike just in front of him James Parker Yellow flag being displayed down there at Cox. I'm not sure what's going on down there. I haven't heard any incident. Just trying to... Uh See if I can hear what's going on on the radio out there, but uh, the yellow flag being displayed at Cops, which is around turn eight. Race leaders, though, head their way up the hill there now. Still Ethan out there in the lead. Head their way through. 
Mick Train moving up one spot just in front of uh, Gary Dixon that time round. Kieran McGowan still holding on to that fifth place. Good little uh, battle going on with uh, Michael Roche and Jared Purcell. Fastest lap of the race is Ethan Olden at a 135.2 at the moment. As they uh, head their way onto the front straight away once again. Anthony Carroll really starting to uh, get on with it there now. He set the uh, the new uh, quickest time of the race at a 29.71 and he is the quickest on the track at the moment. He now moves up into second place, starts to open up the taps on his 400. So Anthony Carroll now from fourth up to second place, good riding there. Simon Dixon holds on to third place, Lee Holmes fourth now. As the rest of them uh, start to head their way through. James Parker now starting to uh, get a move along there. Going to have about three or so laps remaining in this one. Benjamin Stevens goes through. He's uh, towards the back of the pack, but still uh, improving all the time and having a, a good time out there. It's waiting for our race leaders now onto the Pirelli front straight away. Couple of laps remaining in this one now. Still, uh, Anthony Carroll, Simon Dixon makes up a lot of ground on the brakes. Moves right up on the 400. their way through, still Lee Holmes there in fourth place, fifth place there, Kieran McGowan just starting to get away from Gary Dixon a little bit, Mike Train and James Irvine uh, having a, a fantastic battle for seventh and eighth place on the track at the moment, as uh, they head their way down into Gumtree's corner. Some good dicing going on right the way through the field. The one that's just coming up under the bridge there now. Michael Roach, James Parker and Jared Purcell all having a good old battle out there at the moment. It's great to see. Doesn't matter where you are on the track, whether you're at the front or at the back. If you're uh, having a good old dice, you're having a good time, that's for sure. So down the front straight away, Ethan gets the last lap board now. So they head their way up. A couple of uh, slower riders just in front, but um, I'm sure they'll get themselves sorted there. Anthony Carroll, still the quickest out there on the track, just going a little bit quicker again at a 29.048, that last lap. So they all start to uh, bunch up behind the back markers there. We'll see what happens. They all get through safely. But Simon Dixon just uh, going a little bit deep there, but he hung on to it. Rest them through the left-hander at seven there now, then down through Cops. 
and into the fast section. Race leaders now down through Kangaroo Corner as they make their way through. Back up onto the Pirelli front straight away. It's so Ethan Olin. Comes up onto the front straight away, Anthony Carroll in tow. And that's how they all finish. Great stuff there for Ethan. Another fine win there for him. Anthony Carroll keeping those points, uh, charging along in second place. Simon Dixon third. Fourth place in there was Lee Holmes on the uh, Seoul Kawasaki 400 out there. Kira McGowan finishing off very well there in fifth place.